Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 session series on the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. This is session 22.2, and first thing we want to do today is we're going to create a, I'm going to delete this just so I'll show you what I did to create it. We're going to create a empty pattern just so that we don't have to keep uh, reassigning things. So because I don't want to have any notes that interrupt playing what I have here already, I I don't want to set anything at a volume zero where it might accidentally clip or do other things that I don't want to, for behavior. So what I'm going to do is go to EJ, uh, Bank J, uh, just double tap the EJ button to record, and we're just going to record in some quick silence. So we got a pad with silence on it now over on Bank J. Now I want to have, I'm actually going to set up pad 16, one bar, whatever BPM you want, the strength and quantization don't matter for this exercise. So just go ahead and do it. We're going to get bank over to J. And I just created the event. We'll just make sure it lights up. Yep, so we're good. So we've got that. We can exit out. Now we have a pattern that will play as much as we want. But we have no, uh, no metronome. So what you really want to make sure that you're doing for this one bar pattern is you're going to want to be in record mode and just don't forget to switch over to rehearsal now the next thing we want to do is to set up now if we want to do two separate loop one bar loops is we're going to go here go mfx and hold isolator i'm going to hit tap this for sx delay so we got that set on the first bus and ms isolator we're going to make sure we've got delay set up on both buses and we want feedback 100 11 99 50 50. switch back to the first bus and we got sx delay 11 99 and i don't know why i touched it <laughs> i should have left it and 50 come on you can do it 50 50. all right so now we have both set up at the same time as a reminder how the how the button using remain works if you want if you hold remain you can turn on or off the current bus that you're on so what i'm doing right now if you can see i'm holding remain down and i've just disabled all of everything on one through eight and these are my instruments that i had for samples and what i've this is just going to go straight out to audio and not go to either of the buses now and that's okay but if i want this to go to bus two instead i need to switch over to bus two if I hold remain down, you can now see they're turning green. So I know anything that is orange is going to bus one. Anything that's green is going to bus two. So now I can actually create two separate loops here by playing with the pattern here. So we're going to come back in, hit record, pad 16, one bar, uh, 116 BPM, one bar, and we're going to hit record. Now, I've got, I'm leaving the metronome going just so I have something to play to, and I'm just going to record in a drum pattern. Oh, man, I, see, I messed up. I'm going to go back to the pattern. Oh, you can hear, now you can hear what's going on as it's playing some phased problems. Uh, let me explain what happened. So, we just recorded notes into here which we didn't want. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go, let's delete this. <laughs> I don't want the delay going. Sorry. Uh, I'll show you guys one more time. Let's see if I can make sure I can get this right. So we're going to make a one bar. We don't need any strength. One bar loop. I'm going to go to bank EJ. So we just got pad 16 recorded. We now have an empty pad here. So the, what I, the mistake I made was I hit record and I forgot to turn rehearsal on <laughs> before I started doing this. So you can see these things are a little sketchy. You gotta kind of have patience and know what you're doing, but let's do the one bar loop again. So now we have the drums and that's on bus, because this isn't flashing, we know we're on bus one. So I can now switch over to bus two and I can then, I don't have to switch over to bus two, but I, I can then turn it on and off if I want. And while we're doing this, let's just turn the metronome off. Get the metronome off. 
And just so you know, anything I play here is immediately going to go out into the buffer. So, uh, I don't know. Well, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to tap something. So we now have a C note that will always be in the second buffer. And we can disable it. And you can hear it's not playing, but we still have the drum loop going. Let's turn this back on. Let's just go into chromatic. I've currently got this set to a scale of my B flat minor. So so we're going to play for one bar. So as you can see, we've now got this loop going and we got two different loops. So I can now we get out of chromatic and switch over to the first bus and start to stop the drums. Now they're gone. So if I want to play something else, I have to. So anyway, that's hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Shows you some of the pitfalls. It is easy to make some mistakes here, but you now have, if you want to, uh, some a pretty good, easy way to set up a two one bar looping looping buffers on your Mark II. You just have to kind of remember a few of the rules, and it will work. Thanks, guys. Keep making beats. Peace.